What's up everybody, so it's Mike Lines here. Um, what I'm gonna do today is purely an arm day, only on cables. So I'm gonna try and make this as easy as possible because a lot of people don't have certain machines that I've shown you. We're gonna do supersets, splice tries all the way through. And it's a really good arm blast for anyone looking to just basically run through arms and just get a total volume style workout for your arms and just get a massive pump. So that's what we're gonna go through today. So what we're gonna start out with is again, you can use a rope if, uh, if you don't have this, but a normal rope would be just sufficient. So you would grab a rope right here with the, the handles, but we have one of these and I really like this for doing hammers. So I'm gonna start with the hammer curl first. So walking yourself out. Sets and reps, we're gonna do three sets, 15 to failure. Um, with arms, I just don't think reps. I just go com to complete and utter failure and then I move on to the next exercise. So a couple of mistakes in this one is obviously people go too heavy, they start rolling over like this and they start, they break your elbow in the wrong direction um, and they try to angle their hands farther away. A hammer curl is you're hitting the outside of the bicep and the brachialis of your, of your arm. So you wanna come straight up with it. A little curl at, at the top, but not much. So. I would go basically here until I couldn't do any and then I do a, a couple of partials at the end and then we would keeping the same handle we're going to go right into rope push downs for the triceps so again lean yourself in so you get full range bring those elbows back and nice squeeze out Same thing, common mistakes are people, when they don't do this elbow back is the most common thing, and they just keep everything here. And it's out more so out in front of them, which puts more, a lot more tension on the tendons. Like you want everything nice and tight, elbows tight to the body, and then you're down with it. Again, you're gonna go to absolute failure. When you get to the point where you can't do anymore, just you're gonna try to do some partials here. And then you give yourself a break rotate it back down, right back into hammers, and then right back to ropes for the three sets all the way to failure. So that's your first double set of exercises. So I'm gonna do a cable curl here, and uh, the handles are just an extra long ones. What you're gonna be doing is staying like this, and you're doing cable curls, just like you're doing double dumbbells. And notice that I'm just breaking at the elbow. My elbows aren't traveling back and forth. Staying in the exact same spot. Common mistakes are people just always go too heavy. Something like this, it's, it's all on technique. So basically, as you notice, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of a lean back and I'm putting myself in positions almost, a, almost like a preacher. So I'm using my body as a guard. So my elbows aren't traveling back. So I'm just standing in front breaking that elbow, controlling it on the way down. I'm not letting the weight control me. I'm not just letting it drop. So everything's controlled nice and slow. Feeling that contraction, feeling the stretch at the bottom. Sets again, is gonna be three sets, complete failure. So we're gonna rotate, keep it at the very bottom. Move my hat around. So now we're gonna be doing overheads. So you get yourself stand up and you want your elbows back where your ears are pointing directly at the ceiling and that's where they stay. So now you're just pushing away. What most people try to do is they try to lean into it this way to make it easier, but you want that full stretch at the very back. And again, you'll do those all the way to failure, right to partials. There's exercise number two. All right, so we're moving on to the third uh, superset of your arm uh, cable arm day. Um, so we're gonna do starting out with uh, standing bicep curls to the head. Um, went over this before, but this is a great one for actual bodybuilders going on stage. You can actually practice your posing as you're doing the exercise. Then we're gonna move on to a V-bar press down. So uh, let's get into the bicep one. So you want the cables all the way to the top of a simple cable crossover. So you're gonna walk forward, rotate your arms up, and you're just bringing those hands right to your ear. 
And like I said, for bodybuilders, you can get into the stance like you would be on stage. So, common mistakes are people when they do this, I can't even begin to say how painful it looks, but they, they go too heavy and they almost, they bring their elbows down and then curl, and I can't even do it because it's so painful. So you want everything straight across. So elbow to elbow, straight through the shoulder girdle, and it's all the way, it's like you're posing on stage. It's a simple bicep to, to the head. It's like you're posing your front double bicep. Big one is when you're up here, keep everything, you wanna feel that stretch. You want it all the way out, feel the stretch, open yourself up, bring it in, you feel that squeeze. If you're having trouble with that squeeze, what you can do, all right, go to the point where you feel that stretch, bring it in and hold it. Hold that right, just like you're holding a pose on stage. Hold it, hold it, hold it, nice and slow. Slow, slow, slow on the way out. Full stretch. Bring it back in and hold it again. Hold, hold, hold. Nice, slow, slow, slow. Way out. You do those for a couple of reps. At the beginning of the next set, I can guarantee your biceps will start to pop off. All right, so we just did the bicep. Now we're moving on to the tricep. So now we're gonna do a V-bar push down. So a simple V-bar is same technique. So. You bring in elbows in nice and tight, tuck those elbows in, you have that lean so you get full range of motion and straight down. Up, do a feel stretch, straight down. Feel stretch. All that pressure is driving down through that outside of the hand, down on the handle. Again, you're gonna be doing these sets to failure. And once you get to the point where you're gonna start to fail, Go all the way up to that stretch and just try to get as much blood in there as possible. A little bit of partials. The big thing that you don't want to see is you don't want to see the shoulder round forward and you kind of lean to it like this. And now it's all out in front of you. You're taking away the bread and butter of the whole exercise. You want a full stretch, full squeeze. And you always control that waist. Never let the weight control you so it's not flipping you around. And most common mistakes where people where you see that just, they lean into it like this, elbows go aside, and they're doing one of these. And that's just because they wanna put that pin down. So you want elbows in nice and tight, you want everything nice and close to your body, and nice and slowing down. You wanna control that weight all the way from top, all the way to bottom. Feel every inch of the rep range. All right, so that is exercise is number Three. All right, so we're moving on to our fourth and final superset for this arm day. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off with cable curls with an easy, burl, easy uh, curl bar attachment. And then we're gonna move that right into drag. So it's gonna be failure on the cable curls and then absolute failure on the drags. So we're just annihilating biceps. And then we're gonna move into my uh, actually triple set for triceps. So this is gonna be a very, very intense finishing. Um, and it's just basically, basically gonna blast out whatever, whatever glycogen you have left in there. So we're gonna use it up. So let's start off with the bicep curls. So cable at the very bottom, standing upright. So we're gonna curl up, breaking at the elbow, nice and control. Common mistakes are when people go, try to go too heavy, they start to lean over and then they're not going all the way too. Or if they're standing too close like this, they're using momentum and leaning back. Or they're trying to bring it all the way up and they're using the front delt. Just walk back. Have the cable straight all the way up to your shoulder. Elbow is nice and close to your body. And you're just breaking at the elbow. So it's a simple, simple movement but it's isolating the biceps. And you're just bringing your wrist towards your shoulder, that's it. You're not bringing the bar towards your shoulder, you're not bringing the bar towards your face. You're thinking wrist to shoulder, that is bicep. So inside of my wrist to my shoulder till it completely flexes. All the way nice and slow down for the full stretch, all the way up. So once you get to complete and utter failure and you're starting to get your partials, 
and you're gonna walk all the way in nice and close. Now we're doing drags. So we're dragging that up nice and close. Common mistakes here, people don't pull their elbows back towards. So this one, the elbow actually travels. So the elbow travels back and you drag up towards yourself. Let your wrist kind of go. So you're not curling your wrist this way because your forearms will start to tire out. And then once you get the complete failure here, do a couple of partials at the complete bottom. Now you're gonna move on to that tricep, triple. So, what are you gonna do? So you're gonna do cross body. So elbows in nice and tight, lean nice and down. So underhand grip. You're gonna do this one for 10 reps. And once you get to that 10, you're gonna shift over, rotate your body just a hair. You do 10 reps this way. And then once you get to that 10th rep here, you're gonna rotate yourself up so it's cross. Hands pretty much touching your opposite ear. Elbows right in front of your nose in the mirror. And you're just breaking out the elbow. You should really feel a good stretch along the long head of the muscle here. And you bring that across. Common mistakes for this one is people just, they, they try to cheat. So they try to pull their elbow this way before they extend. So it's almost like they're trying to use their body's momentum to get it started. And they're doing one of these. And my biggest thing is, if you're in this properly, that cable should be nowhere near your face. So it's like six to seven inches away from my face right now. But if you're using your body's momentum and you start to swing, you're gonna crack yourself right in the side of the head with the, with the cable. And that's a clear cut sign that you're doing it wrong. Your elbow is not in the right place. So your elbow should be over in front of you. Your hand should be touching your opposite ear for full stretch. And it stays there. Like literally have your hand here as a stopper. All right, so then we move on to the other hand. Again, so. Leaning in, elbows back and tucked in, underhand grip, down. You're gonna do that for 10. And then once you get to the 10, you just transfer over. And you're gonna do this for 10. And then once you get to 10 here, you're gonna transfer up again, elbow here. You can put your hand here as a stopper once you get in the right spot. Hands almost touching that ear and you're just breaking at the elbow. Cable is nowhere near your head. Ten each way. And trust me, if you get the weight right, you are going to have a lot of struggle getting to 10, 10, 10 on each one of those ones. So that's going to completely blast out your arms and your arms are gonna have a massive pump. So what I did today is I used only cables, used uh, handles that you should readily have at, e at each and every gym, and made it completely simple uh, for you guys to get that major arm blast. So hope you guys like it and use it.